Good morning, good morning, good morning. In this video, we're going to take a look at the stimulus package and see what might be coming up ahead for you and I. But before we do, of course, as usual, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below with your thoughts as to how things are currently rolling out with the stimulus package round one, but also with how things are looking with round two after you uh, hear what might be coming ahead. And lastly, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Literally, it's really easy. Just show a brother a little love. Just tap me right here. L literally, just get the mouse and tap me right here. You know, right in the heart, show me a little love and uh, follow along, subscribe so you can stay up to date on the latest videos that I release. Some of which, you know, might be a little helpful. Others might just be a little in entertaining or informative. If you are a cat owner or a pet owner, go look at my last video because there's some latest news that has uh, just come out regarding two cats in New York. Yes, I do touch on it. But let's jump into the latest uh, plans for the stimulus package. As you can see, it is clearly says here in the title, stimulus proposal. So it has not been passed yet, but a $2,000 payment plus $1,000 per month until one year after the crisis ends. So the CARES Act provided many Americans with financial re relief in the form of $1,200 stimulus check. But as that program rolls out, it has become apparent to lawmakers that more financial assistance is needed. There are currently several proposals from various lawmakers that will provide Americans with ongoing financial support. Now you can add the automatic boost to communities, ABC act proposal introduced by Rashida democratic. If approved, the ABC act would provide every American with a boost debit card that is preloaded with $2,000. The card would be reloaded with $1,000 each month until one year after the end of the COVID-19 crisis. The bill calls for the use of prepaid card, prepaid debit cards to assist those who are unbanked or do not have access to check cashing services. So who would be eligible for the 12, excuse me, for the $2,000 stimulus payment and the $1,000 recurring payment? The goal of this bill is to guarantee no one is left behind. As written, the bill would provide a $2,000 prepaid debit card to everyone, including taxpayers, dependents, non-citizens, individuals who do not have a bank account, social security number, or permanent address, uh, people living in unincorporated territories or protectorates, and Americans living abroad. Dependents. The proposal gives an example of a family with four dependents being eligible to receive a prepaid debit card for each taxpayer and each dependent. For example, a couple with two children would receive four debit cards at $2,000 each for a total of $8,000. Non-citizens. This would include permanent residents, undocumented individuals, and temporary visitors who stay, who stay exceeds three months. These prepaid debit cards would be reloaded with $1,000 each month until one year after the virus emergency ends. The U.S. Treasury uh, would work with other agencies to develop a comprehensive list. The, pro the proposal calls for the U.S. Treasury to work with other government agencies to develop the most comprehensive list of recipients uh, possible. This would include working with the IRS, the uh, Social Security Administration, the Federal Elec Election Commission, and every other relevant federal, state, and local government agency, including state-level uh, department motor vehicles. So again, how would the, uh, the money be distributed? The funds would be distributed via prepaid U.S. debit cards in a program uh, managed by the U.S. Treasury. The prepaid U.S. debit cards would, dis would be distributed via direct mail, in-person pickup, at-risk outreach. All individuals with an active address on file with any government agency would have a card sent to them uh, to that address. Um, In-person pickup would apply to those who do not have a permanent address as well as permanent residents, undocumented individuals, and temporary visitors whose stay exceeds three months. Uh, At-risk outreach would address those who are elderly, homeless, disabled, or those uh, live in remote areas. And how could the funds be used? The prepaid U.S. debit cards could be used to make purchases at stores or on, or on online uh, to make cash withdrawals at ATMs. Cardholders would also have the ability to uh, top up their balances at any time, either during or after the crisis. 
the ABC Act would be paid for with two one trillion trillion dollar coins. So the ABC Act would be funded directly from the Treasury with no additional debt issued by minting two one trillion dollar platinum coins. Additional coins would be minted as needed. Title 31 of the U.S. Code gives the Treasury Secretary the authority to mint and issue platinum b billion coins or bullion coins. I don't know if that's I gotta I don't even know what that means. I gotta look that up. I'll be honest. Uh, uh, proposal, unless it's a typo, which I'm thinking it might be, but I don't know, maybe not. Um, proposals call proposal calls for digital dollar system by 2021. So this proposal also outlines the possibility of using the infrastructure behind the U.S. debit card system to create a digital public currency wallet system or a digital currency based on the U.S. dollar. So that is interesting. I So I didn't even read this. I wanted to kind of just go through this for the first time with you guys. Sometimes I will read it ahead just so I can kind of be prepared. Um, I do also like to kind of just read it like this where I'm just going with the flow and um, coming across it for the first time because it's kind of breaking news to some extent. Um, and this is big. So this is the last part is really, really interesting. And I wasn't expecting anything regarding, um, you know, I remember hearing something a little while ago about digital, you know, like a few weeks ago um, about digital being kind of in the talks. And then I feel like it just disappeared or like it was shut down quickly. Um, but to see that thrown into the mix here is, uh, is interesting. Um, you know, like this just kind of aligns to me. I, I hear this digital dollar system. And I think like most people, you think Bitcoin, you think cryptocurrency and, uh, you know, it's like they kind of completely, you no, know, you know, against it type of thing. But then you see all these government officials, people that were part of these enforcement agencies that kind of shut it down, leave and go work for or start their own digital company. I don't know, you know, consultants and stuff. It's like, mm. so to see that as a part of this is very, very interesting. Um, but, you know, so again, this is just a proposal. So all of that might be the portion that gets cut out, but maybe they're doing that, you know, maybe they're like, Hey, it could happen. You know, it also might just be strategic as a way to kind of plant that seed and really kind of start to get that ball rolling more so uh, than some would like. Um, so that's interesting. But in terms of what you and I would get right now, as we see, you know, what exactly it is, what it entails. I mean, it's interesting that, you know, one ABC act is what it's called. So I like that, you know, it just sounds like it's like, you know, it's very fundamental and for everyone, which this is who this is for. Now I do, you know, have questions or sometimes when I see things like this and it's like, oh, well, you know, everyone. And it's like, well, does like, should the government really be pushing out $2,000 with an extra reloaded uh, $1,000 each month after uh, for one year to some guy who's making, you know, $250,000 a year and has no real need, like doesn't need this, isn't struggling like others. Now I get it. I think just for the sake of making it easy, just to kind of blanket it and not have to put in all of the protocols and the policies and the, the, the whole system to actually determine who's eligible, who isn't this, and all this other criteria, you know, this makes it much easier in that sense, which might, you know, help with getting the money out as planned and not prevent us from kind of dealing with what we're uh, currently experiencing um, regarding the, um, the first round of the stimulus check. Now that said, they are, you know, a lot of people haven't received um, their money yet. Um, I haven't received any money yet. Um, and I, you know, I did release a video um, yesterday or a few days ago that basically has the full schedule. So I'm not planning to get it yet, but I did do direct deposit. And the schedule I released is really referring to the um, uh, the paper checks that, that are going to be mailed. Um, so that does have an, a full updated schedule on the paper checks that will be mailed if you guys are interested. And I'm actually pulling up my phone right now 
and seeing if I got my direct deposit of any of my the stimulus check and I have not. <laughs> so um, again, I'm not really kind of at this point, I'm kind of like, I'm not really expecting it <laughs> to be honest, not anytime soon, but with direct deposit, they said it should be quick. I have seen a number of other people already receive theirs. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just waiting. Um, but many others haven't received theirs. Many have received theirs. I think it's kind of like a, it might be like a 50, maybe a little less than 50%. Um, people have received theirs doesn't it kind of doesn't feel like that but um you know when you uh, i looked i was looking at some some polls some research and stuff and it looked like that's kind of what it where we are now so progress is being made um and you know while we're here um quickly did want to just mention that i uh will be updating one of my websites to essentially kind of create a I don't know if I would say a portal, an experience that will not a portal, but, you know, just kind of an experience that will help you with navigating uh, uh, what's going on. Um, you know, we have a number of uh, uh, programs that are available for self-employed freelancers, independent contractors, those who are grinding and doing their own thing, not doing the nine to five, but maybe you work at Uber and Lyft or Instacart, um, TaskRabbit, Handy, Tackle. Um, or you just do, you do your own thing. You know, you're a freelancer, you're, you know, maybe you're occasionally doing work on Fiverr. Um, and I, you know, I will be again, releasing this, this experience that will encompass kind of a lot of these programs, these, these uh, platforms. Um, and then again, some of these programs that are available like the EIDL and the PPP, um, alone and, you know, uh, might be a few others in the mix that potentially might be relevant. Um, for you, um, or just, you know, some of your family members, some of your friends, uh, uh, former coworkers, others that will let go and are looking for opportunities and ways to just move on and, and, and get by. Um, because it, the struggle is real. I'm starting to see a lot of people that are feeling it. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, it's like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it as well, but I'm fortunate that I'm, you know, I'm not feeling it as, as much as, as some people are. And, uh, you know, so, you know, to, to just be in a, in a position where I can help, um, you know, not only kind of be a voice, call out some of the BS, you know, some of the provisions that we're seeing thrown in here where there are these big tax breaks given to individuals who don't need them, um, while others are still just waiting for, you know, that first $1,200, which was peanuts and, you know, shouldn't it have been only 1200 in the first place. We would be further along had they, you know, approach this whole situation more righteously um, and, and you know, with the people in mind instead of just a select few. Um, but, you know, in any case, like I said, definitely when I do release that, I will keep you guys posted. It will be on uh, either. I haven't entirely formed this, you know, uh, made this decision, but it will be either on acespencer.com or on adamhelper.com. So again, um, I'm going to keep you guys updated as to how things are looking, you know, regarding the stimulus packages, um, because this kind of affects all of us. Um, but especially, you know, us self-employed individuals that don't have that nine to five to fall back on, don't have the traditional unemployment, which there are unemployment options available for those of you who are self-employed. Now, I actually did just um, kind of uh, uh, get approved and was able to submit a claim or a few claims, um, cause you can backtrack here in Massachusetts. So maybe I'll make a video on that. Um, um, and, and just touch on the unemployment options that are available for us who are self-employed as well. So in any case, I'm going to wrap it up here, but if you guys, uh, as usual thought this was helpful, um, definitely like this video, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this $2,000 payment a month, uh, plus another thousand dollar per month after that for one year after the crisis ends. Um, and also your thoughts around the plans to have us go this digital dollar system route by 2021. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how this rolls out. So definitely know what you, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below, like this video, and of course, subscribe to the video. Show a brother a little love. Just tap me right here and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.